I was currently sitting at the front desk, my chin resting on my hand as I groaned in boredom. I was completely alone at the moment, I had nothing to entertain me. I sighed as there was still literally nothing to do to pass the time. I looked down at the desk and thought about drawing something on it, but I didn't have any pencils near me. I then closed my eyes and just rested my head on the desk. Maybe a nap would kill some time. A small soft smile spread across my lips as I continued with my daydream. I still couldn't believe it. Only about a week ago I married the love of my life, the man I love more than anything, Vegeta. I smiled even more and blushed as I thought about how Vegeta stared at me when I walked down the aisle. I was wearing a stunning white wedding dress. Our guests were also staring at me, but I didn't care about them. All I could focus on was Vegeta and how handsome he looked that day. My heart swelled at the lovely memory even though it only just happened. I felt like my face would explode from how big I was smiling. He looked incredible in the tuxedo, it fit him perfectly. But what I loved the most was how he looked at me with pure love in his eyes. It melted me when his eyes met mine, it was almost like I was looking in paradise. I will never forget how he looked at me that day, it was a look of absolute adoration. I daydreamed about how nice it would be if Vegeta and I could go to Paris, it would be so romantic. We would walk past all famous monuments, we would dine in fancy restaurants, we would lay down in the Eiffel Tower at night and look up at the stars just enjoying each other's presence. It would be the trip of a lifetime and I would relish every second of it. I snapped out of my daydream and sat up. I was extremely excited about the idea of going on a romantic trip with Vegeta. He deserved it after all of the work he had done recently. I wanted to do something to make him feel loved and appreciated. I skipped across the room. I had a smile plastered on my face as I excitedly walked onto the main stage. I saw Ferdina, Fexa, Bonfi, Golden Ferdina, and Marie all together. I stopped in front of them and took a deep breath. My heart was racing with excitement. I couldn't help but giggle a bit at my excitement. I clapped my hands together and beamed at them. Hey girls, guess what? I'm going on a trip to Paris. Ferdina, Bonfi, Fexa, Golden Ferdina, and Marie all looked a bit surprised at first, but then they smiled at me with excitement and their eyes lit up. They all cheered for me and hugged me. I giggled as they all hugged me and cheered, feeling their excitable energy boost my own. I waved at them before heading out of the club. My heart was still racing with excitement as I got into my car and started the engine. I took a deep breath as I drove home, trying to take in all the wonderful images of Paris swirling in my head. I couldn't help but smile, I pictured the beautiful city, the culture, the fashion, the romance. I was so excited for the trip and to share it with Vegeta that I could barely contain my excitement. I finally pulled into the driveway, parking my car and turning it off. I closed my eyes and took another deep breath, taking in the moment before getting out of the car. I looked towards the house and felt butterflies flutter in my stomach as I thought about seeing Vegeta again. I walked into the house and was instantly assaulted by the amazing smell of food filling the air. I inhaled deeply, my stomach growling at the wonderful scents. I was curious about what was cooking, but more curious about where Vegeta was. I stepped into the kitchen and my heart fluttered when I saw my handsome husband, Vegeta, cooking a cheese pizza. His broad shoulders and back muscles flexed as he moved around the kitchen, and even though he wasn't looking at me, I could feel his strong, determined aura even from across the room. I smiled at seeing him in his element and walked over to him, wrapping my arms around his waist from behind and leaning up against his back. I felt my heart skip a bit when he smiled at me and winked. It was a simple gesture, but it spoke volumes about how much he loved me. I beamed and nuzzled into him a bit, feeling his muscles under my hands. I missed him so much, even though I only went out for a little while. I beamed as he put his arm around me and kissed my head. His warm embrace always made me feel safe and loved. I looked up at him and couldn't help but feel my heart pounding out of my chest. He was so handsome it took my breath away. I sat at the table and watched him prepare the pizza, my eyes trailing over his every movement. I couldn't help but admire his strong, lean, muscular frame and the way his biceps flexed as he stretched out the dough for the pizza. 
I felt a flutter in my heart as I watched him and knew I was the luckiest woman in the world to have such a wonderful, strong, handsome man as my husband. I couldn't help but gasp as Vegeta brought the pizza to the table. It looked absolutely mouth-watering. The cheese was melted to perfection and the dough had a lovely golden brown color. My mouth watered as the delicious scent wafted through the air and made my stomach growl. I knew it was going to taste amazing and I was excited to share a meal with the handsome man I loved so much. I took a bite and moaned loudly in surprise. The pizza was incredibly delicious on its own, but the grease had added an extra level of flavor that took it over the top. The rich, creamy cheese melted in my mouth and combined with the savory tomato sauce and the buttery, crispy crust. I closed my eyes and savored the taste. It was absolute bliss. I looked up at Vegeta as I finished my bite of pizza, my eyes sparkling with excitement. I knew that he would love the news I was about to share with him. Vegeta, I have something to tell you. Vegeta looked over at me curiously as he ate his slice of pizza, his dark eyes locking on mine. I took a breath and smiled, my heart fluttering as I told him my plans. I've booked us a trip to Paris. We're going to go sightseeing and visit all the major attractions. We're going to eat at fancy restaurants, stay in a beautiful hotel. I beamed as Vegeta smiled and winked at me, his happiness making my own happiness spike even higher. Then he told me that he wanted to go to Paris as well, and my heart burst with love for him. I couldn't help but giggle and smile, throwing my arms around his neck and kissing him passionately. I kissed him back, our lips pressing together in a passionate and loving kiss. I felt like I was floating, my heart bursting with love for him. I couldn't believe I was married to such an amazing man and could share all these exciting adventures with him. I sat beside Vegeta as he got on the computer, my head resting on his shoulder. I watched as he quickly and efficiently navigated to the Novotel website and began to search for a room for us to stay in. I could feel his body heat seeping into me and it made me feel cozy and loved. I felt my heart leap as Vegeta placed his hand on my cheek, his strong calloused hand lovingly caressing my skin. I turned and leaned into his touch, feeling my heart fill with love for this wonderful man. I couldn't help but feel so incredibly loved and adored when he touched me so gently. It made me feel like the luckiest person in the world to have such a thoughtful, loving husband. I watched as Vegeta completed the booking process, feeling my excitement building even more. We were going on a trip to Paris together, and we were going to stay at a beautiful hotel. I couldn't wait to explore the city and spend time with my husband in such an amazing place. I watched in awe as Vegeta powered up to his Super Saiyan form. His hair turned gold and spiked up, his muscles enlarged, his aura flared, and electricity crackled around him. I couldn't believe this was my husband, so powerful and strong. I watched with fascination and pride as he stood before me in all his Super Saiyan glory. I watched as Vegeta extended his hand towards me, his eyes gleaming with excitement. I grinned and took his hand, feeling a bolt of electricity as our skin touched. I was ready to go anywhere with him, especially if he was using his Super Saiyan form. I was excited to see what he had planned. I grasped his hand tightly, feeling a surge of anticipation coursing through me. I knew what was coming and I couldn't wait to experience it. I wrapped my other arm around his waist and held on tightly, feeling his strong muscles under my fingertips. I gasped as the world around us blurred and shifted and we suddenly found ourselves standing outside the Novotel Hotel in Paris. I looked around in amazement, my heart pounding with excitement at the thought of all the exciting things we would do and see together. We made our way through the beautiful lobby of the Novotel and approached the front desk. I felt like a giddy little girl as we checked in, my heart fluttering with excitement. I couldn't believe I was actually standing with my husband in front of the front desk, checking into a hotel in Paris. It felt like a dream come true. The receptionist at the front desk handed us our keycard with a smile and we made our way to the elevator. As we rode up to our room, we held each other closely, feeling the excitement and anticipation building between us. We stepped off the elevator onto the second floor and made our way down the hallway until we found our room. Room 24. I felt a rush of excitement as we approached the door, my heart racing with anticipation. I could barely contain myself as Vegeta unlocked the door and we stepped inside our room. 
We stepped into our room and I gasped at how comfortable and elegant everything looked. The room was tastefully decorated and the large bed looked incredibly inviting. I could already picture us snuggling up together under the blankets and enjoying each other's company. The bathroom was also very nice with a large shower and luxurious amenities. I couldn't wait to take advantage of it. We sat on the bed and watched TV for a bit, just enjoying each other's company and relaxing for a bit. But soon the excitement of being in Paris began to build and we knew we couldn't stay cooped up in the room forever. We had to explore the city and see everything it had to offer. I watched as Vegeta powered up once again, feeling a rush of excitement and anticipation as we prepared to teleport into the city of Paris. I held onto him tightly and braced myself as we suddenly materialized in the heart of the city. We found ourselves standing in front of the iconic Louvre Museum, surrounded by a sea of tourists and art enthusiasts. I couldn't contain my excitement, my heart racing at the thought of seeing one of the most renowned museums in the world. We made our way through the museum, admiring the incredible works of art and architecture, from the breathtaking paintings to the majestic sculptures. As we walked through the Louvre, I marveled at the endless streams of people admiring the works of art. There were tourists from all over the world, each of them eagerly snapping photos or simply standing in awe at the majesty of the museum. The atmosphere was electric, the energy of all the people swirling together and enhancing the experience. We passed by other tourists and even some couples on dates, and I couldn't help but feel a surge of adoration for my husband as he walked beside me, his powerful presence attracting the eyes of many. I felt so lucky to have him by my side, and I couldn't help but reach out and take his hand as we continued our tour of the Louvre. After admiring the artworks in the Louvre, we stepped outside and made our way to the nearest tour bus. It was a beautiful day and I could feel the warmth of the sun on my skin as we waited for the bus to arrive. Once it did, we climbed aboard and took our seats, settling in for a panoramic tour of the city. As we rode through the city on the bus, I marveled at the sights that I'd only ever seen in pictures before. We saw the Eiffel Tower, the Notre Dame Cathedral, the Arc de Triomphe, and many more iconic landmarks. I felt my heart swell with joy as I took it all in, feeling incredibly lucky to be experiencing this with the man I loved. We reached the Arc de Triomphe and climbed off the bus, taking in the impressive structure in front of us. I had seen pictures of the Arc de Triomphe before, but seeing it in person was a whole different experience. We admired the intricate carvings and designs, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe as we stood in the shadow of such a significant landmark. We continued walking, and I found myself smiling as I noticed that many people were giving us admiring looks, no doubt appreciating the sight of my handsome husband. I couldn't help but feel proud to have him by my side, his powerful presence and rugged good looks drawing the attention of everyone around us. As we walked through the city, I noticed that people were clapping and cheering for us, some of them shouting words of congratulations. I couldn't believe that people had heard about our wedding and were actually celebrating it. I felt a huge swelling of pride at the realization that our love and happiness had inspired such a reaction in people. People in the streets were incredibly friendly and welcoming and they went out of their way to share their treats with us. We were offered all sorts of sweets like fluffy cupcakes, sugary bread with chocolate, and even chocolate or vanilla pies. I was touched by their kindness and generosity, despite the fact that they didn't even know us. After admiring the Arc de Triomphe and all its grandeur, we continued walking through the streets of Paris, soaking in the atmosphere and taking in all the sights and sounds. We passed by cafes and bistros, each one serving up delicious French cuisine. We hopped back onto a tour bus and rode it to the Notre Dame Cathedral, our eyes wide with excitement. As we pulled up, I couldn't believe that we were actually there, looking at one of the most famous cathedrals in the world. We got off the bus and walked toward the imposing structure, marveling at its intricate architecture and towering spires. We walked inside the cathedral and were immediately struck by its beauty and grandeur. The stained glass windows cast colorful patterns on the stone floors, and the towering, arched ceiling made us feel small and insignificant in its presence. 
I couldn't help but feel a sense of humility as I walked through the ancient halls, knowing that countless others had come before me and worshipped in this very spot. As we explored the cathedral, we took our time admiring the artwork and the carvings on the walls and columns. The intricate details and the history behind each piece made me feel like I was stepping back in time, and I couldn't help but marvel at how well preserved the cathedral was despite its many years. We came across the main altar, and I felt a shiver go down my spine. The altar was huge and incredibly ornate, and it was clear that a lot of care had been put into every detail. I stood there, taking it all in, feeling incredibly lucky to be experiencing this with Vegeta. We explored the cathedral further and soon reached the crypt, a dark and ancient place where the remains of many notable figures had been laid to rest. The cool, clammy air of the crypt made me shiver, but I couldn't tear myself away from the fascinating history and stories behind each burial. When we finally emerged from the crypt and back into the bright daylight, I felt exhilarated. It was an incredible experience to explore the Notre Dame Cathedral and feel the weight of all that history and tradition. I could hardly wait to see what other adventures awaited us in the beautiful city of Paris. With the sun starting to set, we boarded another tour bus and made our way to the most iconic symbol of Paris, the Eiffel Tower. As we rode, I could hardly contain my excitement, knowing that we were about to see the tower in all its glory as the sun went down. When the Eiffel Tower finally came into view, I gasped in amazement. The tower was lit up, the many bulbs casting a warm glow over the metal structure. The lights twinkled like stars against the darkening sky, and I could hardly believe that we were really there, seeing such a beautiful sight. Feeling the rush of excitement, I took out my phone and quickly snapped a selfie of me and Vegeta in front of the Eiffel Tower. I couldn't help but smile at how stunning the image looked. The tower behind us, the lights illuminating our faces, and us holding each other close. I couldn't wait to share this moment with my friends and show them the incredible adventure we had together in Paris. We made our way to the escalators and rode up to the first level of the tower, feeling the excitement building as we ascended higher and higher. We stepped off the escalator and were immediately awed by the breathtaking views of the city that were spread out before us, but as we explored the first level of the tower, I noticed a small circular area in the center with the words KISS HERE carved into the metal. I couldn't help but giggle at the corny gesture, finding it endearing and charming all at once. We stood on the circle in the middle of the tower and hugged each other, our bodies pressing together as we shared a passionate kiss. The wind brushed past us, and the lights of the city twinkled beneath us, but all I could focus on was the feeling of Vegeta's lips against mine, the warmth of his body pressed up against me. We continued kissing deeply, the heat between us growing in intensity as we lost ourselves in the passion of the moment. I wrapped my arms around his neck, pulling him closer, feeling goosebumps rise on my skin as our bodies pressed together. The world around us faded away as we shared this intimate moment, our love and adoration for each other deepening with every touch and every kiss. As we pulled away from each other, slightly breathless, and our lips swollen from the intensity of our kisses, we took a moment to catch our breath and admire the incredible view before us. The city of Paris was lit up, the lights illuminating the buildings and the streets below. We both stood there, holding each other and taking it all in, feeling grateful for this incredible moment and the love that we shared. After soaking up the views from the first level of the tower, we made our way to the restaurant and settled in for a delicious dinner. We indulged in traditional French cuisine, savoring every sip of fine wine and every bite of the exquisitely prepared food. Despite being surrounded by other tourists and admiring the incredible surroundings, I couldn't help but focus on the man sitting across from me, my husband, and the love of my life. As we sat there enjoying the meal and each other's company, I felt my heart swell with love for this incredible man. He looked at me with such adoration and respect in his eyes, telling me how beautiful and wonderful I was, how lucky he was to have me as his wife. I felt my cheeks heat up, but I couldn't suppress the smile that spread across my face as I listened to his kind words. I felt truly loved and cherished in that moment, and I knew that my love for him was endless. I reached across the table and took his hand in mine, my thumb grazing over the back of his knuckles. 
I looked into his eyes, feeling the love and adoration well up inside me. I told him that I loved him too, that he was the most handsome and incredible man in the world. I told him how lucky I was to have him as my husband, and how grateful I was for all the love and happiness he brought into my life. After paying for our sumptuous dinner, we left the restaurant and made our way to the escalators once again, eager to reach the top of the tower. We rode up to the top and were immediately struck by the breathtaking view before us. The city of Paris stretched out beneath us, the lights twinkling like stars against the dark night sky. I stood there, amazed by the sheer scale and grandeur of it all, holding onto my husband's hand tightly. We stood there, mesmerized by the incredible view of the city of Paris from the top of the tower. We could see the intricate street patterns, the winding Seine River, and the breathtaking architecture dotted all over the city. The air was crisp and chill, but we were lost in the wonder and beauty of the moment, soaking it all in and feeling incredibly lucky to experience it together. As we stood there admiring the beautiful view, we couldn't resist the urge to kiss once again. We wrapped our arms around each other and kissed deeply, savoring the feeling of our lips pressed together and the warmth of each other's bodies. The city below us seemed to disappear as we lost ourselves in our embrace, our love and passion consuming us once again. We continued kissing, the intensity of our love and passion growing with each moment. Our tongues tangled together as our mouths moved in sync, our bodies pressed closely together. I felt a rush of heat and excitement as we deepened the kiss, our hands roaming slowly over each other's bodies, exploring and caressing each other in small, intimate gestures. I could feel his heart racing against mine, and I couldn't help but feel like this was the most incredible moment of my life. After pulling away from each other, slightly breathless and our lips slightly swollen from the passion of our kisses, we took a moment to catch our breath and look around. We admired the city before us, each of us taking in different views from different sides of the tower. The beauty and grandeur of the city were breathtaking, and we both stood there, marveling at the incredible scene before us, knowing that this night was one we would never forget. With our energy spent from our passionate kisses and our legs shaking from the excitement of the night, we rode the elevator back down to the ground. As the doors opened and we stepped out into the cool Parisian night, we looked at each other and shared a smile, knowing that this night had been truly special and unforgettable. We arrived back at our hotel room and immediately collapsed onto the bed, feeling exhausted, but incredibly satiated. We took a few minutes to just sit there and breathe, our bodies still buzzing from the adrenaline of the previous night. I couldn't believe how incredible the last few hours had been, how much I had fallen in love with my husband all over again. I felt so lucky to have shared this adventure with him, and I knew that our love was stronger than ever before. I headed into the bathroom and quickly turned on the shower, feeling the warm water wash over me and soothe my tired muscles. I closed my eyes and let the water flow over my body, feeling the stress and tension of the day melt away. I let myself relax and bask in the warmth and luxury of the shower, grateful to have this moment to myself to unwind and gather my thoughts. I sat down in the shower, letting the water pour over my back and into my hair, feeling the tension and stress of the day melt away. The sound of the running water mixed with the hum of the bathroom fan created a soothing ambiance, like a clip of a calming song playing on repeat. I closed my eyes and took deep breaths, letting the tranquility of the moment wash over me as I meditated and let my mind clear and reset. After the shower, I stepped out and wrapped a towel around my body, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. I quickly dried off and changed into clean, comfortable pajamas, feeling cozy and relaxed as I settled into bed for the night. I settled into bed and wrapped myself in the soft hotel blankets, feeling cozy and content. I heard the sound of the shower in the bathroom, indicating that my husband was getting cleaned up. I smiled to myself, feeling a sense of comfort and happiness knowing that he was here with me, sharing this incredible adventure together. After his shower, he emerged from the bathroom, his hair still damp and his chest bare. He wore a pair of pajama pants that hung low on his hips, and I couldn't help but admire his muscular physique and chiseled abs. He had an air of confidence and contentment about him as he approached the bed and climbed in beside me. 
I snuggled up next to him, feeling the warmth of his body against mine as he wrapped his arm around me. The feeling of his strong, muscular arm around me made me feel safe and protected, and I smiled as I snuggled closer to him, feeling his heart beat against my body as we lay there together, content and happy to be in each other's arms. We lay there in bed together, the sound of the television playing in the background as we cuddled close to each other. There was something so intimate and comfortable about just being there together, lying in each other's arms watching TV. It was a simple moment, but one that was filled with warmth and love, and I felt so grateful to have someone to share these moments with. As we lay there watching TV in each other's arms, we couldn't resist the urge to kiss again. We turned our heads towards each other and our lips met, our mouths moving in sync as we shared a slow romantic kiss. I could feel the love and desire behind his kiss, and I let myself sink into it, savoring the feeling of his lips against mine. After kissing for a while, we pulled away and snuggled closer to each other. The sound of his heartbeat and the warmth of his body lulled me into a sense of comfort and contentment, and we fell asleep in each other's arms, feeling happy and fulfilled after an incredible day in Paris. I awoke to the sound of birds chirping outside the window and the early morning sunshine streaming through the curtains. I turned over and saw Vegeta still fast asleep beside me, his chest rising and falling with each breath. I couldn't help but smile, feeling a sense of contentment and happiness at the sight of him next to me. After a few moments, he opened his eyes and smiled back at me, stretching his arms out and pulling me close for a good morning kiss. We both got out of bed and got dressed for the day, both of us feeling energized and ready for whatever adventures Paris had in store for us. We picked out our outfits together, choosing something comfortable but also stylish, knowing that we would be doing a lot of sightseeing and exploring today. Before heading out, we grabbed breakfast at a nearby cafe, indulging in delicious pastries and rich dark coffee as we planned out our day. After breakfast, we decided to spend the day wandering around the city and exploring its hidden gems. We took our time strolling through the narrow, charming streets and alleys, stopping to admire the historic buildings and quaint shops along the way. We stumbled upon a small, secluded park and spent hours just lying on the grass and talking, enjoying the beautiful scenery and each other's company. Despite having already seen the major tourist attractions yesterday, there was something about just exploring the lesser-known parts of the city that made it feel more personal and intimate. As we lay there in the park, feeling the softness of the grass beneath us and the warmth of the sun on our skin, Vegeta suddenly sat upright and began to charge up again. I watched in amazement as his hair turned to bright gold and his aura flared up around him, feeling the energy and power radiating off of him. I sat upright as well, feeling excited and curious about what he planned to do next. I took his hand and together we teleported back into the heart of the city. We found ourselves standing in the middle of a bustling street, surrounded by the hustle and bustle of daily life. We took a moment to catch our breath and take in our surroundings, admiring the beautiful architecture and the lively atmosphere of the city. Then, we set off to explore once again, holding hands and enjoying the journey together. We strolled through the city hand in hand, taking in the sights and sounds of Paris. We admired the intricate details of the buildings and the beautiful cityscape that surrounded us as we walked. We made our way towards the Champs-Élysées, a famous avenue lined with boutique stores, cafes, and cinemas. We walked along, stopping occasionally to look in windows or take in the impressive scenery, feeling like we were in a dream. We continued our stroll, passing by the iconic Arc de Triomphe and taking in the grandeur and beauty of the monument. We stopped for a moment and posed for a picture together, smiling widely as we stood arm in arm in front of the famous arch. Then we made our way to the nearby Jardin des Tuileries and strolled through the lush gardens, feeling the cool breeze and marveling at the beauty of the flowers and fountains around us. As we strolled through the gardens, we stumbled upon a romantic spot surrounded by tall bushes and lush greenery. We stopped and took a moment to admire the beauty of the surroundings when an idea popped into my head. I turned to Vegeta and suggested we take a picture together, with us kissing in front of the gorgeous scenery. He agreed, and we leaned in towards each other and shared a tender and passionate kiss, capturing the moment forever on camera. 
As we continued walking through the gardens, hand in hand, we happened upon a part of the garden that looked oddly familiar. As we drew closer, a smile spread across my face as I realized what it was. It was the same garden where we had gotten married, but with a more modern and polished look. I gently elbowed Vegeta and pointed it out to him, and we spent a few moments reminiscing about that special day. My heart swelled with emotion as I looked at the beautiful garden and thought back on our wedding day. The memories of that day were still so vivid in my mind, and the love and happiness I had felt then came rushing back to me in a wave of emotion. Tears streamed down my cheeks as I turned to Vegeta and hugged him tightly, feeling so grateful for that special day and for the love that we shared. As I hugged him tightly, my tears continued to flow, and I couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the emotion of the moment. I held on to him, feeling the strength and comfort of his embrace as I let out all of the emotions that I had been holding in. It was a moment of pure joy and happiness, and I knew that I would never forget the feeling of being in his arms while surrounded by the beauty of Paris and memories of our special day. As the tears continued to stream down my cheeks, we pulled away from each other just far enough for our lips to meet in a soft, tender kiss. Our mouths moved in perfect harmony, our lips brushing against each other in a gentle but passionate embrace. I kissed him deeply, feeling the emotion and love behind every touch and every movement, feeling utterly and completely happy as we stood there in the garden, wrapped in each other's arms. He gently cupped my cheek in his hand, his touch sending shivers down my spine. I looked up at him, feeling my heart skip a beat as he smiled down at me with so much love and adoration in his eyes. He reached up and gently wiped away my tears, his thumb brushing against my skin in a gesture that was so sweet and tender, I thought I might melt. In that moment, I knew that I had never loved him more than I did right then and there. We left the garden feeling renewed and refreshed, holding hands and walking through the streets of Paris with a newfound sense of contentment and happiness. We strolled past the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral, admiring its beautiful architecture and stopping for a moment to take in the grandeur of the structure. We continued on, taking in the charming sights and sounds of the city as we walked, savoring every moment together. Reluctantly, we made our way back towards the hotel, knowing that our time in Paris was coming to an end. We packed up our belongings and made sure not to leave anything behind, then headed down to the lobby to check out. We shared a bittersweet moment together, knowing that we had just experienced one of the most memorable trips of our lives, but also knowing that we had to return to our regular lives back home. As we stood in the lobby, saying our goodbyes to the hotel staff, I suddenly felt a surge of energy as Vegeta began to charge up again. I watched in awe as he powered up, his hair turning a vibrant golden color and his aura growing stronger by the second. I could feel the energy and power emanating from him and I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and curiosity about what was about to happen. In a flash of light and energy, we teleported back home to our house in the U.S. We materialized in our living room, and I took a moment to catch my breath, feeling slightly disoriented but also elated to be back in the familiar surroundings of our home. I looked up at Vegeta and grinned, feeling grateful to be back with him and ready for whatever adventures the future would bring. Once we settled in, I took out my phone and scrolled through the pictures we had taken in Paris. I smiled as I saw the images of us in front of the Eiffel Tower, at the Louvre Museum, and in the park. I sent the photos to Ferdina, Bonfi, Fexa, Golden Ferdina, and Marie, sharing the memories of our romantic getaway with our animatronic friends. I also shared the picture of us kissing in the lush gardens and sent it to our animatronic friends. I typed a message alongside it, explaining how the garden looked similar to the one where we had our wedding, but a bit more modern. I couldn't wait to hear back from them and hear their reactions to the pictures of our romantic getaway in the city of love. We went out to the backyard and settled on lounge chairs by the swimming pool, feeling the warm sun on our skin and the gentle breeze rustling our hair. We sat together in comfortable silence, both of us just savoring the moment and feeling content to be relaxing in our own backyard after our adventure in Paris. It felt like the perfect way to end our trip, surrounded by the familiar and comfortable surroundings of home. As we sat by the pool, a soft breeze blew through the air and our eyes locked in a tender gaze. 
In that moment, I felt an overwhelming sense of love and affection for him, and I leaned in closer, our bodies pressing together as our lips met in a soft, gentle kiss. We held each other tightly, wrapped up in each other's embrace as we savored the moment and the peaceful surroundings of our backyard. As we broke the kiss, Vegeta looked at me with such love and adoration in his eyes, and he began to showering me with compliments. He told me how much he loved me and how I was the best, most sexy wife ever. His words made my heart swell with emotion, and tears welled up in my eyes as I felt overwhelmed with love and gratitude for him. I couldn't believe how lucky I was to have him as my husband, and I felt such overwhelming happiness in that moment. Tears fell down my cheeks as I hugged him tightly and cried loudly with happiness. I felt so overwhelmed with emotion that I couldn't find words to express how loved and happy I felt in that moment. I could feel his arms wrapped around me, holding me close and comforting me as I cried. It was one of those moments that was so perfect and so special that it felt like it would be etched into my memory forever. After a moment, I finally composed myself and pulled back slightly from the hug to meet his gaze. I looked up at him, tears still streaming down my cheeks, and I couldn't help but tell him how much I loved him too. I told him that he was the best, most handsome, and loving husband anyone could ever ask for, and that I was so grateful to be sharing this life with him. I could see the love and happiness in his eyes as he listened to me speak, and I knew that we were truly meant to be together. We stood up and embraced each other tightly, our bodies moving in synchronization as we slow danced. We swayed gently from side to side, our movements slow and graceful, lost in our own little world as we held each other close. The world around us seemed to fade away, and in that moment, all that mattered was our love and our shared connection as we danced together in the warmth of the backyard. As we danced, the sun started to set and the sky turned a beautiful orangey-pink color. The pool shimmered in the fading light, and it was like a scene straight out of a fairy tale. In that moment, I couldn't have wished for anything more than to be dancing with my husband in the backyard of our home as the sun set and the stars began to twinkle in the sky above us. After the sun had fully set, we stopped dancing and looked up at the starry sky above us. The moon was full and bright, casting a silvery glow over everything around us. We stood there, holding each other close, mesmerized by the beauty of the night sky and feeling so grateful to be together under the stars. As we stood there looking up at the stars, we turned to each other and smiled, our eyes meeting in a loving gaze. We looked at each other, our faces lit up by the moonlight, and mouthed the words, I love you, before we embraced and kissed each other deeply. The passion and love behind the kiss was palpable, and I felt my heart swell with emotion as we held each other tightly under the starry sky.